I don't mean to compare guys, but Kampala has four shopping malls. One city in Uganda in Africa has four shopping malls and my entire country has one mall. Y'all like, this is amazing. Hey guys, welcome back to my video. So this is another day in the city of Kampala here in Uganda. And today I'll be taking you guys like shopping <laughs> that's not really shopping though but i'll just be visiting a few stores a few boutiques i'll be buying a few things um i'm gonna compare if it's like cheaper here or in my country i'm not very exactly i'm not exactly sure where i'm going but i have a guy who helps me around and shout out to esau like he's really good and he's super nice he takes me like videos and pictures when i want which is very important very essential so today i'll be going out um i'm just gonna freshen up and no i already freshened up <laughs> so i'm just going to like put my stuff together and then i'm going to wait for the sun to be less overhead and then i'm going to go out and i'm going to take you guys with me and let's see how shopping in kampala actually is i have a feeling that it's going to be expensive so i'm out now and i have a little makeup on <laughs> which is something that i don't do most times but you know i just wanted to look good it's sunny and i was like why not so oh uh, no so usually when you say you're going shopping people just assume that you're going like to a boutique to buy some fancy stuff <laughs> that's not the case right here usually when i go for shopping this is how the setting looks like yes this is the kind of stuff that i like to go buy so i'm here at the market and then I went to visit this Owino market, which happens to be like the biggest market in Kampala, which is like, you know, they have all kinds of stuff. You guys see the stuff well laid? Yes, this is where I like to shop. So Owino market is like the biggest food market here in Kampala. And from what I gathered, people moved from the Nakasero market and then they settled here at the Owino market. And then there was this guy named Owino who was selling like corn maize in this side who moved from the Nakasero market. And this market was just literally named after him. It had so much. It was just like my country. I could relate so much with the vibe of this market. But it was about to rain. It was actually rainy. So I had to leave. So I went to this next area, which I don't remember the name at the point of editing this video. But he had this outfit. So many things that I wanted. So there was this one store that had like what I wanted. It's called Lady Bird Boutique. And honestly, guys this boutique i can tell you for, for, for a fact that is worth it i don't know if it's cheap i mean compared to those who live in kampala or it was just cheaper for me who is new in kampala but it was comparatively cheaper to the malls so um i got a few stuff here and i really really thought that this place was amazing like compared to the markets which was a little bit more rowdy here was a little bit more organized it's called ladybird I don't know i just love the boutique it was nice they had like comfortable stuff and very practical stuff for reasonable prices yeah so um i got a few stuff and then i went to the market i went to the market downtown and i wanted to buy some stuff for nails for my business and then i went to this other place that was called motif um i don't really i don't really remember exactly the area where it's found but it's motif is like it's like an environment created for youths who do like creative stuff. So everybody here is like an original creator, you know, like they tell other the, the things themselves and the market it. And exactly on the day that I came here, they happened to have like a fashion show where they were doing like a, um, an expose, an expose of you know some of the fashion stuff so i had the opportunity to record like you know the beginnings and like the preparations and it was very exciting and honestly i just found some of the stuff really excitingly weird you know it was just like the creativity it was it was amazing i cannot believe that uganda they have areas like this that they create only for youths who are creative to create stuff you know and market like it was amazing i came here and it was great the next place i visited was the lugogo mall and i wasn't quite sure i wasn't going to buy anything from from this mall for sure but the mall was in my way so i was like i was just going to pass there and have a look at it and like just make videos about it and 
for real, I want to tell you guys something like Kampala, they have four malls. And I just don't know, like my whole country, they have one mall. And just one city in Uganda has four malls. Like, can you guys believe it? Can you guys believe it? I cannot believe it, honestly. Like, it's it's amazing. I find it very intriguing. And then I went to this plant store and the girl was so sweet. I bought a few serums from her and like essential products. Anyways, I don't want to bore you guys with my whole day, but it was an amazing day. I got a few stuff. I may have time to show you guys the few stuff that I got and maybe try them. On so that you guys can tell me if I was duped or it's actually a very good price. So um, that was all for today. I don't think I bought so many stuff. I bought a few pants from Ladybird and a few stuff. I'm going to insert the pictures of, you know, the things that I bought. And I think, you know, relatively, it was really nice. Moving around in town is very convenient. You guys should not be surprised if I say I have to move to Uganda. Like, I really love this place. It's very friendly. The people are so nice. They are polite. They are very warm to to visit us. And, you know, I just love this place. So I don't know where else I'll be going to again here in Kampala or what else I'll be visiting. But so far, so good. Thank you guys for watching my videos. And see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs>